let's talk about one that is actually kind of controversial. I feel like there's this is a mul this is a hill that some people really want to die on with the sea salt spray. Um, so ours is called Marine Layer. I also named this. Thank you very much. Um, and so, what exactly does a sea salt spray do for your hair? And then I would like to actually talk about the controversial nature of sea salt spray. But let's cover like what it does okay. first. I'm curious about this controversial. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's yeah, so well, much controversy oh, trust me, here. Right? We've got we've oh, okay. gotten some feedback on okay. it. Yeah. Okay. Yo, long hairs, welcome to another episode of The Main Cave. I am your host, El Sicario, and today we have an extra special guest, my personal barber and friend, Shelby Shears from the Lion's Mane Grooming Co., San Diego's premier barbershop experience. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm so glad we did this. Yes. This is so fun. I, I hope you just become like a reoccurring character. I really hope so too, yeah. Yeah, we got you on the podcast, yeah. we got you on The Main <laughs> Cave, and uh, this is special because uh, we've had several main cave episodes at this point, but uh, I think you're our first like subject matter expert on okay. the show, and this is really important that you know we're always trying to we want to be the the source of anything long hair for for the guys. So this is really great that you're going to provide your expert feedback. Uh, so the subject of today's episode is going to be covering uh, ancillary hair care products. So obviously you guys know you got to wash your hair, you got to condition your hair, but you know, we do offer other hair care products. And today we're going to talk about what are the benefits of these products and why you should have them. So first I want to cover, um, clarifying shampoo. Ours is called power clean, but just in general, um, what are the benefits of clarifying shampoo and why should you use this as well as your standard shampoo? Uh, clarifying shampoo is a what it says it's clarifying it detoxifies the hair and scalp from products product buildup um healthy scalp healthy hair so if you want to grow your hair long you gotta have a healthy scalp right okay. so yeah so so um the way that i learned about clarifying shampoo was essentially um you know there's so many factors that can contribute to your scalp just becoming like polluted with mm -hmm. residues and and other chemicals and even really crappy shampoo and conditioner can do it um, and so this is a way to just like once in a while detoxify the scalp, get it clean, right? Just right. kind of a, a yeah. hard reset. So how often should people really use clarifying shampoo? Um, if they're using products like grease-based products, I would definitely say maybe like once a week or once every other week. You don't necessarily mm. want to wash your hair every day, even with regular shampoo. So you don't want to over clarify your hair either. Right, because so. it can be kind of harsh on the yeah, scalp. Yeah, it can be harsh on the scalp. Okay. You should always be following up with conditioner. Okay. Always. So yeah. if you're not using a, an instant conditioner, a leave-in conditioner, like the HydroFlow is going to work. Right on. Perfect. So. That's a perfect segue yeah. into, um, let's talk about leave-in conditioner. So ours is called HydroFlow. Also, that name was my idea, and I will fight anyone that says otherwise. Um, so <laughs> what are the perks of leave-in conditioner, and why should you use this as well as your standard conditioner? Uh, Leave-in conditioner is going to, if you have curly hair, it's going to fight frizz. It's going to fight, you know, just the flyaway stuff like that. It's going to give you like that, that definition in your hair without like using like a sticky product. So it's going to give you a little bit of main tame. Okay. You know? Sweet. Yeah. So I like to use the leave-in. Um, I, I, I'm like a twice a week wash mm -hmm. kind of guy. Yeah. And, um, I like to use the leave-in even sometimes like I don't necessarily want to do a full wash but I will wet my hair if I mm -hmm. had like a really hard workout yeah so and I'll you know I'm not gonna go through the whole conditioning but I will throw in some leave-in conditioner after just rinsing the hair that's um, a great use of that product especially the hydro flow it's 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 not thick like lotion like mm -hmm. a regular conditioner would be it's it's more the consistency allows you to kind of refresh use it as like a refresh but definitely nice. conditioning after that's a great way to use the product in my yeah. opinion and we we get uh we do get some guys that are like hey my hair is super beat up and i just haven't been washing it properly and so this is so leave-in conditioner is just an additional layer of um just hydrating your hair getting doing that maintenance getting it healthy mm -hmm. again um and getting your hair back on track so that you can donate with us next year at the great cut 2024. Yeah. um awesome so Let's talk about one that is actually 
kind of controversial. I feel like there's this is a mul this is a hill that some people really want to die on with the sea salt spray. Um, so ours is called Marine Layer. I also named this. Thank you very much. Um, and so, what exactly does a sea salt spray do for your hair? And then I would like to actually talk about the controversial nature of sea salt spray, but let's cover like what it does okay. first. I'm curious about this controversy. Well, okay. There's yeah. so well, much controversy oh, trust me, right? what, We've, got, we've okay. gotten some feedback on okay. that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so what was the question again? So what exactly? <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly Focus is... Focus on the controversy here. <laughs> yeah. What exactly is sea salt spray? Like what does it do for the hair? Um, sea salt spray is going to give you that fresh out of the ocean, like tousled, beachy, you know, California Volumous. hair. Vol yeah. Like Volumous. It's, so it's like for the people that have like really super fine hair and their hairs just fly away and all over the place, but they want a little bit of, you know, gruffness, mm -hmm. you know, you know, for guys anyway, like sure. women using, like I use the marine layer and I do it, you know, to give my hair light hold mm -hmm. and kind of bring out the beach wave yeah, when yeah. I'm not wearing it curly curly. Yeah. So like, um, there's a lot of guys, I have a lot of surfers actually that would be like, Hey, do you use any product in your hair? What's your routine? Like when I go through the consultation, they're like the ocean. Yeah. Like, so, and they actually have like really great hair all the time. I do have to clar clarify their hair. Bam. So it's because they do have salt and sand and, and all of right. that, you know, they don't, they don't, they they love that lived in beach look. They're at the beach probably yeah. every day, twice a day for some of them. So like surfing is their life. Right. So, but this will basically, if you're not a surfer, or you don't have time to go surf, <laughs> yeah, you know, this this will give you that that feel, but not as rough as the ocean is, you know. Right. Yeah. And uh, I, you know, I am uh, a Pacific Islander heritage, so my hair is just very dense. But for our very fine haired homies, um, one guy in particular is uh, my very good friend, Elefante. He has extremely fine hair. He has like the hair of an angel, you know? Mm -hmm. And like sometimes I'll just like walk up. Like silky. Yes, it's like and silk. It's just like, all over the place. I'll just walk up to him and just touch it. Because mm -hmm. I'm. we're also very good friends. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but his hair is so you, fine. You and um, him. I know when he throw. I've seen him throw the marine layer in there, and it just like it just kind of gives it more of like a mane, like yeah. a, like a like a lion. Yeah, it, mane. it does. It, it it helps give body and volume, especially yeah. if in long hair. You know, a lot of guys with long hair they don't have layers in their hair and stuff like that. Mm. So this will kind of give you a little bit of plump without putting in feminine layers. Sure. So I mean, I'm my shop loves it. Me and my barber G, like That's great. we we love it. So I love and, that. Yeah. So it's one of my our favorite products, actually. Okay. So on to the controversy. Yeah. Um, I won't say it's been like overwhelming. It has obviously hasn't been overwhelming negative re response. Uh, and you can see in our reviews on our website that uh, that is the case. But um, we have gotten some guys that are like, oh, like, what are you doing? You know, you have all these really great products. And then all of a sudden you're selling sea salt spray. And so the the uh, naysayers will say that sea salt spray can make your hair brittle, uh, it can damage your hair, um, it can do all these like it's like really harsh on the hair. It could do all these harsh things, um, but my personal experience with sea salt spray, because obviously at the long hairs we we all use these products on ourselves before we even think about selling them, um, just from a you know ethical standpoint. Uh, I've used it. Um, I did not, that was not my experience, but obviously that's anecdotal. Um, but yet, you know, what I've told people is like, well, yeah, I mean, if you put anything, if you put shampoo in your hair and not conditioner, like it can damage your hair. Like, you can open a whole can of worms with me right now, as far as like products and hair and health and sure. brittle. First but, of all, uh -huh. let's talk about the science of hair okay. real quick. Yeah. You know, just, um, I've been doing this for 20 years and I have, I teach barbers and cosmetologists this. It's important mm -hmm. for us to understand. Our hair is very acidic on the pH scale. Okay. pH measures the alkalinity, the, the acidity and alkalinity within water-based products. Okay. okay. If we look at the pH scale, zero to 14. Okay. Rainwater is at a seven. The sweet spot for hair, skin, and nails is 4.5 to 5.5. Okay logarithmic scale every number represents a tenfold increase okay so a seven is a hundred times more alkaline than our hair skin and nails so 
regular water can rough up our cuticle on our hair. Okay. Shampoos and conditioners, they shampoos range anywhere between five to eight on the pH scale. Mm -hmm. Clarifying shampoos are going to be a little bit more alkaline. They're going to, because they're stripping right. oils and stuff like that off the hair. If you don't use a conditioner, your hair is going to be in worse condition because you're not bringing the pH back because conditioners are actually formulated between a three and a five. It brings the hair back to its normal pH, okay. which helps eliminate scalp issues and stuff like that. Because when you have a pH imbalance, you end up with scalp impurities, scalp problems. Okay. You end up with hair that's unmanageable on top of it. So using a leave-in conditioner or it's important. Okay. First of all, this isn't going to mess up your hair any more than sea salt in the ocean or okay. the emissions in the air. Our hair is constantly exposed to all the free radicals. Like, so hair products, especially sea salt spray, most likely this is closer to our natural pH than, right. you know what I mean? Like, cause it's it, most hair products, there's anything that has water and it has pH in it. So right. when we're looking at the science of it and bringing it down to why we should use a conditioner with our very alkaline shampoos, because shampoos are meant to cleanse and the conditioners are meant to like bring it back and like yeah re bring back balance yeah yeah, it, know, balance it, yeah basically humors. exactly it brings balance right. to it so you have to be ph balance otherwise we end up with all kinds of different problems in our in our okay. in our systems the bodies hair all of that stuff so right on so so another in in your expert opinion uh sea salt spray is no more detrimental to your hair than any other hair product no. Uh, as long as you're keeping up with your uh, routine, yeah. you know, hair care. As long as, um, and, and it's in moderation too. It's not like you're 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 never washing your hair and only putting marine layer in your hair every day. Yeah. If you I guys mean, are, you guys definitely shouldn't be. Yeah. Proper. So. <laughs> yeah. Proper sea salt spray yeah. use. You're not dumping a bucket on your yeah, head. It's, it's you're spritzing your hair. Um, ours also does have a little bit of a hold to it. Yeah. So I like if I do use like if I I actually like to use sea salt spray when I'm going to more of a formal event. The hair's probably going to be down. Get a little extra volume and it helps me keep my flyaways down yeah. and I, but this is like a, a garnish you're garnishing the hair you're not you know soaking right. the head in sea salt exactly spray. and on top of it like this is the thing too you can layer products like a lot of people don't know that you can cocktail your products mm. so it doesn't it, it could be from the same brand ideally obviously um in the shop we actually a lot of my clients i will put the hydroflow in first brush that through mm -hmm. and then I'll put the sea salt layer in and use it as a blow dry like aid. Okay. So, and I'm using it with diffuser or something right. like that, that way. So I'm protecting the hair from uh -huh. the heat. Cause if you're blow drying your hair and you have nothing in your hair, you're basically burning your hair. So yeah, that's like more, baking. that's more damaging than putting marine layer in your hair. <laughs> just, okay. just saying. <laughs> like, yeah. You heard it from the boss. Okay. <laughs> you should definitely be using something in your hair. If you are a blow dryer, if you are a guy that likes to use a blow dryer, you don't like to leave the house like damp and wet put that diffuser, that little thing, the little ball thing that comes with them. Yeah. You, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah we got to explain to the guys. Yeah. Yeah. It looks <laughs> like the it, spiky ball. Yeah. Thing. It looks like a little spiky ball thing and it, it literally diffuses the air. So you're not blowing it all around and getting all right. crazy. Like, you know, like you're in a wind tunnel, you know, so it's okay. going to control. Yeah. It, it's a, it's a nozzle to control. I love that. The aerodynamics of uh, blow dryers. <laughs> um, well, thank you very much for being on the main cave. Yeah, this is so fun. Um, and I really appreciate your actual expert feedback on these products. Um, obviously, as a guy that uses them, uh, I'm obviously concerned with making sure that I'm using the best stuff. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, the guys that trust us with their hair, you know, it's, it's critical to us that we get them the most um, accurate information. Yeah. So this is really huge for us. For those people that are controversial, I would highly recommend that you yeah. use this first and then layer yeah so leave in conditioner that way, throw the sea salt spray yep. on top yeah, exactly and you can just walk out of the house like that too just scrunch it in there brush it through whatever you do yeah. and then i promise you your hair won't fall off and break <laughs> yeah all right you heard it from the <laughs> boss boys all right well this has been the main cave um check out shelby shears at the lion's main grooming co here in san diego and uh we'll see you on the next one all right see you.